my name is Dan Pontefract, and this is my series on helping leaders lead remote teams better. There's 10 specific videos in which I help leaders lead better from a remote perspective. And in this particular episode, it's using technology in order to collaborate with your team. Now, there's four specific types of technology that I'll get into. If you're using some of these already, great. But if you've never used these types of technology before, well then you've got kind of a one-on-one -on -one crash course coming up for you. The first is what are called messaging and collaboration platforms. And here are a bunch of examples like Slack and Chanty, Microsoft Teams, uh, Fleet, right, Facebook for Business. Basically, this is a way in which for your, your team to be um, directly messaging one another, to be sharing information, to sort of storing a few uh, discussion forums and kind of engaging. These collaboration platforms are ways in which for you to remotely and from a distance kind of keep connected, uh, make sure that uh, you know, you're sharing some files. There's all kinds of bits that go into this, but if you're not using one of these, uh, currently and you're kind of used to like just sharing documents through email and maybe you use SharePoint You may want to investigate some of these. Some of them are free, some of them are uh, freemium, some of them then go to premium But they're all aspects of how you're sharing and working together as a team in terms of some of the information, the data, the knowledge nuggets, right, etc. The next one uh, is kind of what we call, what I call online meetings, webinars and training. And so there's some good ones out there, uh, such as Zoom you might have heard of, uh, Skype for Business, uh, maybe Google Hangout. So why I use these, right, first of all is um, I love conducting meetings virtually by seeing someone's face. So all of these have the ability for you to flip on a webcam and then you can see individuals speaking, usually using VoIP, voice over IP, so that you know whose face is up and when they're speaking. That's really an important uh, aspect of getting body language right in terms of having online meetings. But again, um, if you're gonna be working from home for a while and you're used to going to instructor-led training, these are also great tools to conduct webinars or webcasts and having, you know, kind of short instructor-led training exercises. Um, I particularly am a fan of Zoom uh, and Adobe Connect for those particular ones where there are actual breakouts and ways in which that you can send people to different rooms so they might talk about a problem, they might work on an exercise. Um, so these are kind of, for me, um, table stakes in the world of having meetings and conducting training and learning online. These are some of the tools that I've used uh, and some of the ones that are kind of some of my favorites for sure. The next one is kind of online project management and tracking software. Um, I think the one for me that stands out is Basecamp. I've used this for a while. It's a way for you as a team to sort of put in, okay, what are we up to? What are our tasks? What's the project management aspects of our projects, of our deliverables, of our goals, of our um, objectives, whatever. Um, and it's cloud-based, right? So it's online and, and again, it's a way for you and the team to see uh, if you're used to paper-based or kind of like spreadsheets in the big walls and the meeting rooms of what you're doing with your projects, there's an online way in which everyone can see uh, where we're up to and, and what's due at what particular point. And then the, the last bit here is cloud storage. So again, if you're just used to sharing documents on the shared folder drive that you're no longer having access to, or maybe use SharePoint and it's behind the firewall and you can't access it anymore. Well, things like Google Drive and Dropbox and a bunch of others, right? Like that's ways in which for you to store docs if you've never done that before. It can be any type of doc, videos, right? Microsoft docs, whatever, it, it doesn't really matter. So those are kind of my top four in terms of like uh, opportunities for you to switch from the face-to-face, paper-based, you know, um, uh, way of working to using some of the great online tools that are out there. But the bottom line for you as a leader of remote teams is keep it simple, right? Don't introduce too many tools. Maybe pick one from each of the four categories if you haven't used any of these before. And then just, you know, get someone to kind of champion it. Get a trainer on your team, if you will, the champion who can teach people how to use it, right? Create job aids so that people know when to use your particular web meeting tool or your collaboration tool or your project management tool. There's lots of free stuff out there. There's lots of free guides on YouTube as well. But just, you know, get a champion and make sure that you're picking one tool to help you out through, you know, the period of transition from office working to working from home. Well, that's me, Dan Pontefract. It's the end of another episode of the Leading Remote Team series. Thanks for watching.